Hello and welcome to the GFA YouTube channel, where in this video we'll be showing you how to put together your Turin chair. As with all our chairs, try to unbox them without using a sharp object. Simply peel off the tape. This is to avoid accidentally cutting into the upholstered part beneath the cardboard. Now remove all the parts from the box and make sure they match up with what's listed on the assembly instructions provided. If at this point you notice you have either a missing or damaged part, make a note of the number found on the underside of the seat pad, like the one circled here, and report this to your retailer along with the issue in question. To start, open up the assembly pack. Inside here you'll find the chair spindle. Take this and slot it directly into the centre of the chair base. Now we need to attach the arms to the U-frame. You'll notice the frame has a chrome tube which slides out of it. This will be the front of your chair. To ensure the arms are put on correctly, look for the singular hole on the inside of the arm. This is positioned towards the back of the U-frame. Ensure this hole is at the back on both sides before building. Line up the four holes on each arm to the four holes on each side of the U-frame and attach these parts using the bolts numbered 11 from the fixing pack. Once attached, grab the U-frame and arms and slot this onto the spindle. If done correctly, it should be able to swivel. Also take out the recliner handle found in the assembly pack and for now, partially screw this into the U-frame. For the next step, grab your seat pad. Look on the underside of it and find the two slits. This is the front of the seat pad. If you push the material in, you should be able to see the two metal prongs. Position these prongs on either side of the chrome end of the U-frame. Then, connect this in place using bolt and nut number 13 from the fixing pack. Once that's done, grab your seat back and locate the holes on either side. Lay the chair back facing downwards on the seat pad and line this up with the holes on the inside of the arms. In order to attach these together, unzip the pocket on the arms and locate the entry point. Now take the bolts labelled 12 from the fixing pack and slot this through the arm and into the seat back. Partially tighten the bolt first on one side, then do the same on the other. When both bolts are in, tighten fully. Once this is done, lift the seat back up until it's in the upright seated position. You now want to connect the seat back to the seat pad. Line up the prongs at the bottom of the seat back to sit in between the prongs coming out the back of the seat pad. Then grab bolt and clip 14 from the fixing pack Slide the bolt through both sets of prongs and lock this in place by sliding the clip over the groove at the end of the bolt. Now that the chair is built, you can move on to the footstool. Grab your footstool pad and lay it out upside down in front of you. It should be labelled to help you identify the front of the pad. Now take out the footstool spindle from the assembly pack and line it up with the holes on the footstool pad. Position it so that the spindle is leaning away from the front of the pad. Use bolt labelled 11 from the fixing pack to screw the spindle into place. Finally, get the footstool base and slot the spindle directly into the hole in the centre of the base. Now your chair should be ready to use. Tighten up the recliner handle on the U-frame to keep the chair upright. To recline the chair, loosen the handle and just lie back. Do not, however, try and lock the chair in place while it's in the reclined position. We also recommend you check the bolts are fully tightened every three months. And to clean your chair, all you need is an absorbent cloth and some lukewarm water. Once cleaned, leave to air dry. For more information on how to look after your chair, please check the description below to see our care guide. And that's that. We hope you enjoy your new Turin chair. As always, if you have any problems, contact your retailer, describe the fault to them, and supply them with the number found on the underside of your seat pad. Check out the rest of the channel for more videos like this, and if you need to contact us directly, our details can be found in the description below.